Hello there, welcome to today's tree identification video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify several types of common trees according by their bark. Right now it's the late autumn, so all the leaves have fallen out. Well, some still remain, but most are dead or, or on the ground. Now identifying a tree could be pretty useful if you want a specific type of tree for its strength, looks, or just flexibility. So, let's get scouting. Here we have a cherry tree. Now this, by far, has one of the most distinguishable barks in a tree. If you look around, you'll, find, you'll always find it in a bunch, somewhere. Its bark is very dark, unlike a lot of these gray, whitish barks. This bark is completely, it's pretty much dark, blackish white, so it's very dark. So that's what really sets it apart from all the other trees. And now when it comes to identifying it, its bark is very scaly. It's like scales, and it chips off very easily, like so. A lot of scaly bark through there. The younger bark, uh, the sapling bark is also kind of darkish, doesn't have scales as a sapling. Now the black cherry tree is mainly used for its wood. Now its wood is probably one of the best looking woods out there. It's a very nice color and it's very strong, so highly used in furniture. Now its berries, well cherries, are mainly eaten by squirrels and birds during the summer, so they're not much of use to us. There's a black cherry tree in the crowd of trees. Have you guessed it? Well, there it is. One of the most distinct ones. Very, very dark, as by its name. Here we have the basswood tree in the family of lindens. So it's a very interesting tree. And that is because its leaves will not shed in the autumn. The leaves will remain green throughout until the snow finally covers them. So one primary method of identification is to find the leaves concentrated in one area. Usually, if you just find a bunch of leaves in this one area, like so, that means there's a basswood tree. Bark isn't the best way to identify it, mainly because it's got a fairly common looking bark, but it does have some distinct features. So first, it's kind of grayish-like. As it grows, it's going to develop furrows, like so, black kind of X furrows. Here we can see the diamond pattern, so there's like a diamond pattern on it. And as we look up, this one still has a few leaves, a few big leaves on top, but most have fallen out. So here we have a young basswood sapling. Now its bark is pretty much different. This one is kind of reddish, all the way down. Now, basswood saplings are often growing from big basswoods, so most of the time you'll see a couple of basswoods growing right from a single big basswood. Now my favorite use for the basswood tree is its inner bark. So if you were to scrape away this outer bark, you'd get the inner bark. It's an extremely thin layer of bark that is very strong. By strong I mean it's very fibrous and can resist lots of tension without breaking. This makes it the best for cordage. Here is ironwood, or also known as hop hornbeam. Now this tree has shaggy like looking bark, like so. Very shaggy, peels upwards or downwards in strips. It's kind of grayish, brownish. So it's fairly distinct from the other tree barks, at least in my area. If we look up, it's got some leaves on, some leaves there, and the leaves are toothed. So here I have a leaf, you can see that it's toothed, like so. It's got the middle, and it's got some lines going opposite from each other, coming out. It's kind of, it's got, it's pretty thick, pretty interesting. So here's hop hornbeam. 
Now, it's probably one of my favorite trees because its wood is super strong. Hop hornbeam has one of the strongest woods in my area. This wood is extremely strong. So, if you're building something that needs to withstand a lot of weight, this is the wood that you need to look for. It's not flexible though, so it's not the best for making bows and making things like that. So here we go. Here's our horn beam. So there you go. Now you've learned how to identify several common species of trees.